When did it start getting difficult at home? I think it's been going on for more than seven years now. My parents started going to casinos whilst I was still a student. Then I finished university and became mediocre in a sea of graduates. I finally found work in a shop. When I received my first paycheck, I was so happy until she asked, Can you pay the mortgage? My mum played at poker tournaments. Dad played roulette and other games, surviving on the dream of easy money. Lady Luck isn't in the room. She's in the toilet on her period. Dad lost his job. Mum and Dad turned into a hungry pack of wolves, eyeing at me like a pound sign. My dad started gambling when he was about 18. He would place a lot of bets and go to casinos. His uncle and his friends introduced him to it. So when I was six, my mum got divorced to him because he tried to gamble away the house. Dad let mum have the house, leaving him with nothing. He continued to work his job at the restaurant. I wish he could have achieved so much more in his life. He was so smart and creative. He always used to write me songs and play them to me on his guitar. He said he would teach me someday, but he never got to it. I worry about my dad constantly, even though he's 62. What's he gonna do when he's forced to retire? He's got no money, no place to live, and no partner. He doesn't even have enough money to come and see me on the weekends. And he lies. He says he stopped gambling, but I don't believe what he says anymore. Are you going out tonight? No, I was going to go to the pub, but I changed my mind. Good girl. I don't want you going out in the rain at night. Someone might give you a drink and put drugs in there. Anyway, I'm going out now. I see no future. I'm saving up all the pennies in case of an emergency. I'll pay you back. Too scared to live my life. Too scared to follow my heart. They're arguing 24-7. It makes it so hard to breathe. It makes me want to vomit. I can't begin to imagine how that must have felt. What's the worst thing that could happen if you didn't pay your parents? I'd refuse to pay them sometimes, but then I'd return home from work and find out that the bailiff had visited without warning. Is your husband here? No, he's gone out. Well, given this letter, you owe us eight grand. For every day you don't pay, it's another eight grand, all right? From what you've told me, it sounds like your parents are your children, passing down their pressures and responsibilities onto you. I wonder if that's what's happening for you. I don't think I have had a normal childhood. My parents started gambling when I was five. They were never around, going out till 4am or constantly fighting. There's no money for school books, but there's always money for cigarettes, casino, online poker, scratch cards. Mum says gambling is her only talent and skill. But she's talented. At losing. They use the little money they have for gambling instead of food. And they beg for money from friends. They're now being chased for money. Mum gave all the gold and jewellery away to the friends. Dad 
dad denies he gambles, but he follows mum gambling to the casino because he says he wants to control her gambling, but then he gambles too. It makes me feel like toilet paper, used and then thrown away when not needed. They constantly take out loans to pay for other loans, and money's always been shifted between 0% interest cards. I'm not a renewable source of money. My stress levels are constantly high. I don't know how to be an adult. Their debt will affect the rest of my life. Can I use your bank card? I need to make an online payment. No, I'm going out and I need to take it with me. Please, please, I really need it. This is crucial to rescue my business. Take a photocopy of it and let me have the paper. I need, I need your online password too. Hello? Dad? I spelled your password wrong three times and it's blocked your account. Can you call the bank now? I don't have time. I've got an appointment to get to in about five minutes. I'll text you the number. You can sort it out before your appointment. <sighs> I went to work the next day and later found out Dad spent more money on my card than he said he needed and I urged him to destroy my photocopy details. You don't have to give them your card details. I feel very angry for you hearing that. It's good to know you feel angry on my behalf, but I don't know whether I have a right to feel angry or not. You've every right to feel angry. It sounds like you're living for other people and not living for yourself. It feels like life is dealing me the same hand over and over again. Maybe it will stop when I learn the lesson it has to teach me to follow my heart and leave people to follow their own paths. I'll pay you back. <laughs>